Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we're going to be minting your very first NFT as an object on object.com. Now, you might be wondering why object? Out of all the NFT marketplaces, out of all the cryptocurrencies that you could choose to use, why object? To answer that question, I'm going to give a small history lesson about Ethereum versus Tezos when it comes to minting NFTs. Just to be clear, I love Ethereum. Without smart contracts, NFTs wouldn't even exist. I personally think Tezos is better for small artists and people who are just starting to get into the NFT world simply because you won't be breaking your wallet if you're a beginner. <laughs> and if a transaction fails, you won't be spending time wasting thousands. Everything on Tezos is a POS, a proof of stake. The whole Tezos ecosystem runs on the same power consumption that it takes to power a small toaster oven. Finally, no more guilt shaming from random anti-NFT groups on the internet. <laughs> I know a lot of professional artists are holding back on joining the NFT community simply because ecological concerns. I'm assuming you already have your wallet set up, but if you don't, watch my how to sell NFTs for free video up here. I'll leave a link to the Temple Wallet website down below so you can follow along with this video. So you have your artwork and you got your wallet and you have loaded up on some Tezos. By the way, if you need me to make a video on how to purchase Tezos, please leave a comment down below. It is a pretty straightforward process, but I can understand how this might be confusing if you are an absolute beginner. All right, cool. So we are at object.com. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to the top right hand corner. You're going to hit sync. You're going to select your preferred wallet. It's important to know that when you sync your wallet to a website, it is a digital signature that allows you to access Web3 websites. You will not have to pay anything to connect your wallet. So this is my side photography collection that I've minted on Hick and Nook. It is important that you know that all of these are created on Hick and Nook. And today we are going to be creating something new on object.com. So in order for you to do that, you're going to head over to the create tab in the top right hand corner. You're going to toggle the collection. Now you're going to upload a one megabyte file. It's important that you know that this can be a JPEG or a PNG. As of right now, this file has to be one megabyte or smaller. All right, cool. So you're going to name this collection. You're going to give it a description, and then you're going to hit the create tab. This is going to pull up a wallet confirmation from your preferred wallet. And from here, you're going to pay or well, I'm paying $4.63. Well, I guess it's $4 and 64 cents and you can adjust this a little bit, but I probably wouldn't just because uh, the mints are typically adjusted accordingly. After that, you're going to hit confirm. All right. So now we are waiting for the blockchain confirmation and now we are waiting for the files to be uploaded to IPFS. All right, good. So everything has been updated. And as you can see, the description is here, the title is here, and the wallet address is as well here. This is a Tezos domain. Yours will probably be different if you do not have a domain name, a Tezos domain name. All right, cool. So everything has been uploaded to the Yamas collection. Now what you're gonna wanna do is come back to create at the top right-hand corner. From here, you can now fill out the token information. So you're going to select a file. It's also important that you know that you can upload all different types of files to object.com, including GIFs, JPEGs, PNGs, SVGs, MP4, WebM, GLBs, MP3, WAV files, FLAC files, PDF, and PDF files. The max file size limit is 100 megabytes which is quite high compared to other platforms. All right, cool. So you're going to give it a title, give it a description. 
you're going to then select the collection. If you have multiple, this is where you'll be able to choose each collection that you want to upload to. And then this is very interesting. Object.com gives you the option to choose the license that you can upload your NFTs with. I know a lot of other platforms don't really specify this information. Yeah, so there's a bunch of different licensing types so this is handy if you have something like a music or a video file and you want people to collect maybe the music track but you don't want people to maybe use it for a commercial or something like that so i'm gonna go ahead and hit no license all rights reserved anyone can use this photo for anything they would like to now this is very important the edition size I'm selecting one edition and object.com is allowing you to choose up to 10,000 of these editions, which is incredibly high, but I'm just sticking to one, making it more rare. All right, cool. So you've done the editions. Now we're going to set royalties. Object.com gives you the option to give zero royalties, meaning that you will be paid zero royalties if it sells on secondary all the way up into 25%. So that's very high. I'm going to stay semi-modest and use a 10% royalty fee. So if this photo, for instance, sells on the secondary, I will be collecting 10% of that secondary sell. That is the beauty of NFTs, is that you can create generational wealth by setting these royalties. And it's also very important that you let your family and friends know if you somehow pass how to actually access your NFTs so they themselves can be collecting those royalties. All right, good. Now you've set your royalties. We're gonna hit the mint button down at the bottom. And this is going to bring up a confirmation tab on the Temple Wallet side of things. And as you can see, the gas fee is 0.01. It's literally a penny. And the storage fee is currently at 37 cents, which is very modest compared to other platforms where it could be hundreds. I've seen thousands and I've seen hundreds of thousands. <laughs> so it's very awesome. That object is very, very low cost to mint. You're going to hit mint. That is going to confirm that and send it to the blockchain. And now we are going to wait. All right, awesome. Congratulations, you have minted your first NFT but now you want to list that nft for sale how do you do that you're going to simply come over to the auctions tab right here you're going to enter in the amount that you would like to list or swap if you will onto the marketplace and then you're going to enter in the amount of tezos that you would like to receive now this is in tezos not in dollar bills or bitcoin or ethereum and it's important to know that if you have a large addition size, you might want to keep a couple of your NFTs for barter or trade or anything like that. Or maybe you just want to list one at a time. That is okay. You're going to list the amount that you would like for sale. So for instance, if I had a hundred of these, I would maybe want to list 95 of them and keep five of them for myself so I can send to friends or family. And a lot of prominent artists actually hold on to a couple of their NFTs for barter or trade sales. Now, in this case, I'm gonna list this NFT for 19 Tez, and I'm going to hit the list button right here. That is gonna prompt the Temple Wallet again. And from here, you are going to see the transaction and you're going to confirm so essentially now we're going to list it is waiting for the blockchain and momentarily we will have successfully listed yep there we go we have successfully listed this nft for sale and if we refresh all right cool so when we refresh we can now see that you can purchase this nft for 19 tez and that's it you're all done there's several more tips and tricks that I have available. So if you watch some of my other Hick and Nuck videos, a lot of that same information applies to object.com simply because object.com was built upon Hick and Nuck until Hick and Nuck withdrew the marketplace, which is a completely separate conversation. But yeah, that's it. You've minted your first NFT and you've listed it for sale. Congratulations. If you wanted to send this NFT, you would essentially have to cancel the swap 
And to do that, you would hit this cancel button down here and you would essentially go through the action process again, maybe send that to an, a friend or a family member. I would highly recommend trading your artwork. It is incredibly fun and you will find yourself having a blast if you do that. But yeah, that's it. Congratulations, you have minted and listed your first NFT. If you like this video, be sure to smash that like button. And if you have any more comments or questions, please leave them down below. I will review them and answer you as soon as I can, especially if it pertains to object.com or Hick and Nuck. Those are some of my specialties. Thank you so much for watching. My name is The Gospel and you are watching NFT Gospel. Until next time.